Have you ever noticed that when price of a product increases, sometimes people stop buying it, but at the time they continue to buy it as if nothing has changed. Where does this happen? This is because of elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand tells us how much the quantity demanded of a product changes when its price has changed. Income change or the price of a related goods changes. It helps the businesses, governments and a consumers make a better decisions. Um, dear viewers and subscriber, welcome to economics.com 0.2 where we explain economics in a simple and a practical way. On this channel, we discuss important economics concepts, market trend and how they affect our daily lives. Whether you are a student or a business owner or just a curious about economics learner, this channel is for you. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss the new videos. Start with today's topic. The today's topic is elasticity of demand. Have you ever wondered why businesses carefully set their prices? Where do some products uh, lose customers when prices are rises while others don't? This is because of elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand plays a huge role. Today's topic is one of the more important concept in economics. You may not realize it, but this concept affects the businesses, consumers and even a government policies in every single day. This is the elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand measures how much the quantity demanded of a product changes when its prices, consumer income or related product prices change. Some goods are uh, highly sensitive to price changes while others are not affected much. This plays a big role in uh, how people make a purchasing decisions in their daily lives. Imagine you buy a cup of uh, tea because you are a student in every morning before your class. If the prices is double, would you still buy it? Mostly likely, you don't for a cheaper alternative or just skip it for a Sunday. This show elastic demand. You can easily change your habit when the prices are rises. Now, think about uh, public transport fares. If buses or a train tickets prices increases, would you stop using them? Probably not, because you still need to get to class or a work. You may adjust your budget, but you will not stop completely. This means public transport has an inelastic demand. People continue to using it uh, despite pricing changes or not. How does this impact in uh, middle income consumers like uh, grocery, essentials, rices, floors, and cooking oils? If prices uh, rise, Rises, families may cut back or uh, switch brands, showing uh, elastic demand, elasticity, and uh, mobile recharge. If prices goes up, people continue paying because they need them daily. These are the practical example of inelastic of demands. The question is uh, why is this elasticity of demand is importance for our business? for a consumer, for our policy makers. The importance for a business helps them to decide when to prices or lower prices. Prices are, are lower to attract the consumer or maximize profit. Importance for our consumers help in a budgeting and a understanding when to switch to alternatives. Importance in our policy makers guide uh, tax policies and uh, subsidize for uh, essential goal. So uh, next time you face a uh, price hike, think: Can I replace this, or do I have to buy it anyway? That's elasticity at work. Importance of understanding elasticity of demand for the students. Elasticity of demand is an important concept in economics that directly 
impact our daily lives, financial decision, and our future career opportunities. Understanding these concepts provide our valuable insights into a how prices affects a purchasing decision and why some goods are more sensitive to price change than others. This knowledge is uh, essential for uh, everyone uh, managing expenses, analyzing a market trend, or preparing uh, for a role in our business and uh, economics. Daily life uh, practical application of uh, elasticity of demand. A student often operate uh, within a limit, limited budget, making it important to recognize which products or uh, services can be adjusted when prices change. For example, when the prices of a frequently purchased items such as a fast food increase, alternatively options may be considered. In other hand, essential expenses like a transportation or a internet services remain necessary despite a process of fluctuations. Recognize this difference allows for a better financial planning and a spending efficiency. The relevance of to the student future carries a strong group of our demand elasticity is beneficial in a various uh, professions including the businesses, marketing and uh, finance. Companies rely on this uh, principle to set prices for cost or revenue and understand the consumer behavior. Employers value individuals who can analyze the market condition can apply strategic decisions making it based on our demand fluctuations. Understanding the market trends and uh, inflation, price changes in uh, everyday, everyday goods and services are influenced by uh, elasticity. Essential goods with uh, in elastic demand maintain a stable sales even uh, during the economic shifts. Uh, various uh, luxurious items with uh, elastic demand experience uh, significant demand changes when the prices rises or falls. Recognize this pattern helps this to inform economic business decisions. How do businesses use this knowledge to increase their profit? Understanding the elasticity of demand is essential for a business aiming to maximize profit and remain a competitive in the market. Companies analyze how price changes affect the demands to make informed decisions about our pricing marketing and our product strategy by applying the elasticity principles. Businesses can adjust their operations to attract the customer while maintaining our profitability. The strategic pricing of our maximum revenue business should adjust prices based on our demand electricity for elastic product like uh, luxury item, restaurants, meals. Lowering the price can increasing the total sales volume leading to higher overall revenue. For an uh, inelastic product, uh, for example, essential medicines, electricity or internet services, prices can rising without a significant reducing demand, rising a profit margin. Discounting policies, when demand is elastic, companies use the seasonal discount to encourage the purchases when demand fl fluctuated. Limited time promotions to create uh, urgency and boost short term, short term sales. Product building, for example, buy a one get one free offer to increase the perceived value and uh, encourage bulk purchases. Product differentiations are uh, branding for elastic goods. Businesses focus on a uh, Building uh, brand loyalty, ensuring uh, customers stay even if uh, prices raises, improving the product quality or to justify higher rises, adding a unique future to reducing to ch chance of a customer switching to alternative markets, uh, segmentations or target pricing. Different customers and their groups react uh, differently to price changes. Businesses are likely to use premium pricing and a discount student pricing. The premium pricing is for a high income customer who are less price sensitive and the discount student pricing for a product which elastic demand attract more buying buyers without losing revenue. By the understanding of uh, elasticity of demand Businesses can get optimal services, create uh, effective market strategies, and 
maximize their profit while in, uh, maintaining a customer satisfaction. This information allows them to adapt to market condition and stay ahead of our competitors. These uh, are three the basic types of elasticity of demand we will learn in our next lessons. In today's topic, uh, we learn about it. This is the most important concept of economics. Where, uh, where do some product loss customer when prices are rises while other don't? How do our businesses use this knowledge to increase their profit? And why it's important for students like to you understand this? Thank you for watching.